Hello everyone, this is lecture series 12 network security dealing with TLS that is transport layer security. In transport layer security we will be seeing about hash and pseudo random function where hash is hash algorithm. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So coming into transport layer security, actually transport layer security is a standardized one wherein it aims for some standard internet version to be used that might be version of SSL. So your transport layer security defines some proposed internet standard wherein it will have different version numbers like version number 3, 6. It also have some message authentication code. So message authentication code is done in this way. HMAC K of M is equal to HK plus OPAD HK IPAD M. So here there are uh, difference between the SSL and the TLS MAC schemes. Message authentication code generation. It, it slightly differ that is the actual algorithm and also the scope of the MAC calculation. So here in transport layer security it uses HMAC algorithm that is hash MAC algorithm. So here you can see what is H belong to. H is nothing but it is a hash function embedded with two function two hash algorithm md5 and sha1 so what m is m is nothing but the input message to the algorithm hash algorithm k plus is nothing but it is a secret key wherein it will have it might have padded values if suppose if the number of bytes to be sent to the hash algorithm doesn't satisfy the other values will be padded with zeros but the padding will start on the left so that the complete block length will be satisfied. So total block length is 512 bits. Next OPAD. OPAD is nothing but it is 5C in hexadecimal. That is it this value will be repeated n number of times that is 64 times to reach the block length value 512 bit value ipad is also it is 36 in hexadecimal where this value will be repeated 64 times to reach the complete block length so when you are considering the ssl which is using the same algorithm but one thing is it doesn't have padded values it doesn't use padded bytes wherein it I mean it is concatenating with the secret key the SSL will use padded values which is concatenated. It is here, it is made XOR of that value. Secret key is padded with XR. So the level of the uh, security should be like it should be same in both the cases of SSL and TLS. So for here, TLS, you can write MAC calculation like MAC, write secret. So it will be when you have MAC calculation, it should have sequence number, it should have compressed value, compressed version, compressed length, compressed fragment. You have seen in SSL, right? So a length, a type, version, all those defines MAC calculation. So same thing will be done with hash algorithm in TLS. Here we are using pseudo random function. The TLS makes use of this pseudo random function which you can tell it as PRF wherein it will expand the secrets secret key into block of data why it is splitting into block of data because it should generate a key or it should generate a validated message so the objective of using the pseudo random function is to make use of some small uh, secret value that is shared or that might be generated with larger blocks. That is why we use pseudo random function. 
For that, what we are using is it is pseudo random function which is using hash algorithm where it uses secret key comma seed is equal to it is using HMAC math calculation with hash algorithm where secret key is a of 1, a of 2, a of 3. So for different iteration it is used. For in you, you should know what is a of 1, a of 2. So a of 1 is nothing but when it is 0 then it is said to be seed. If it is 1 it is said to be some secret value which is minus to by the first iteration maybe if first iteration value is 0 then 0 minus 1 if it is 1 1 minus 1 so it goes on like that till it satisfy the complete block length so here you can see hmac which is concatenated with each other it goes through first iteration second iteration third iteration and keeps on going such that it satisfy the complete length block length of the complete message using hash algorithm so here you can define the pseudo random function as you will have a secret code you will have a la label and seed so wherein this will constitute to give you some label seed that is s1 s2 s3 till sn that still it satisfy the complete length of the block so this is how your hash function and the pseudo random function works for your transport layer security please be stay tuned for more information where, where you will be seeing about the alert codes used in transport layer security thank you stay tuned